Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a pharmacist daughter haul. Now this haul happened because of my first order in which I received a sample for um, the creamy apple lavender. I absolutely loved, loved, loved that scent. And when I went back on the website, it was still available. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to place another order and get it. And then um, they were so kind. I forgot to use my 10% off code that came in my first order. Um, and so I emailed them and it took them a little bit to get back to me, but when they did, um, they were so sweet and refunded me 10% of my order. So I thought that was really nice. So I'm going to show you guys my samples first. I do not have scent notes for these, but, um, I will show them to you. So the first one I have here is Backpack Buddy. And this smells... Kind of like strawberry-ish. I don't know. It's definitely fruity. Maybe there's a touch bakery in that. I do like it. The other sample I received is Jelly Donuts. This is okay. I know a lot of people like Jelly Donut. It's just never really been my thing. Um, So this is alright and I'll melt it, but... I don't love it. The next sample I got is After the Rain. And this is just kind of like a fresh scent. It smells like a body wash. It doesn't necessarily remind me of After the Rain because there's not really any kind of like a greenness or earthiness to this. It just kind of smells like a body wash. And then the last sample I got is refreshing. Hmm. This is nice. It smells really sweet and candy-ish. Maybe there's um, some lemon in this. It's really bright too, almost like I don't know. It kind of smells like Mountain Dew or something. I really like that. Okay. I only got four souffles. So I'm going to show you guys these. The first one I have here is Kiwa. I guess that's how you say that. This is Cool Water Type. Sun and Sand. Sea Witch. Pink Berry. And Tonka. And this smells really good. So, cool water was a big thing um, when I was in high school. I'm sure it's not now, but um, I went to high school in the 90s, and cool water was a big thing. So, that scent is very nostalgic for me. And you can definitely smell it in here, but it's blended so well that everything is kind of, you know, standing on its own and, and smelling really, really good. So, I really like that one. Oh, I got five souffles, not four. The next one I got is Date Night. This is bergamot, leather, cardamom, black pepper, still sugar, and citrus. And this is another one I received in a sample and I really liked. This is so good. So it's like fresh, but earthy. You get a little bit of the leather, but not too much. The citrus in this is also sweet, so there's like kind of a sweetness to it. It's amazing. This is um more of a masculine scent, but it, it smells really good. <clears throat> then I picked up two of the lavender um, or the creamy apple lavender. So this has lavenders, apples, oak, and boardwalk mellow clouds. And again, I just fell in love with this scent. It is amazing. So I feel like this lavender is sweet, but you get the apple, you get the boardwalk mallow clouds. There's like a um, definite creaminess to this, like creamy lavender is for sure what this is, but it is just beautiful. I never knew that apple and lavender were such a good pair, but they really are. And then finally, I have 
Highlands, which is cranberry, oak, blue sugar, sandalwood, and rain. And I love this one. This smells more like a ring scent than me. It's a little bit sweeter. You get the cranberry. It's almost perfumey. But you do get that rain note in this. It is beautiful. I really, really love that one. Hey, everybody. Um, So this is going to actually be in addition to the pharmacist daughter haul that you just saw. This is a completely different day, completely different order, but I figured I would just tack it on. So this order um, was brought about because they had a Labor Day sale. So I think everything on the site was 20% off. And then if you bought items that were considered scratch indent or, you know, have a mistake, whatever that may be, it was 40% off. So I decided to take a peek because, I mean, why not? The prices were insane. The loaves, I think, were like um, like $8. <laughs> and then the souffles were so cheap. And so I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get some other stuff. So I can't remember because I did get some things that weren't necessarily scratch and dent. I know for sure that the loaves are scratch and dent, but I don't, I can't remember which one of these souffles Excuse me, is or isn't, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. I did receive three samples, the first one being Autumn Splendor. I send them in these cute little squares that are perfect for one melt. And this smells really nice. I think this is a bakery. I don't know. Maybe there's some zucchini bread, some sugar cookie. And I'm almost getting like a chocolate or kind of s'mores note in that. It smells good. And then I got Hallow's Eve. Hmm. So, I smell cinnamon in this. And I feel like there's... Something earthy in this, but I don't know what it is. I don't love that one. And then finally, the last one I got is R.I.P. Ooh, this one's nice. So this is a fruity blend. I think that's blackberry. Um, I don't know what all's in there, but um, right off the top, I'm getting blackberry. And um, everything else is stuff I purchased. So the first thing I got is one of these little four packs. This is in the scent Creamy Zucchini, which is Zucchini Bread, Boardwalk, Marshmallow Clouds, and Marshmallow Fluff. And I think this might have been stored with the coffee scent I got because I'm really only smelling coffee right now. And there's literally no coffee in this <sighs> yeah I really can't get much of anything so we'll see what that does when it melts um the coffee scent that I picked up is oh no this isn't it where's it at? oh it's coffee house and I think this is just straight up coffee like I don't think it has anything um extra in it like it's not a bakery or anything Um, it smells like coffee, but I feel like I'm getting like some coconut in that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely smelling like coconut, but I really do think this is just a plain coffee scent, but maybe that's the scratch and dip part. I don't know. <laughs> The next one I picked up is Valley Girl in Vanilla Lace, Pineapple, Pink Lemonade, and Marshmallow. I'm usually not a big fan of lemonade scents, but I figured since um, this was so cheap, I would give it a go. Ooh, this is nice. So you do get the lemonade, but it's not 
super intense. And then the um, the vanilla lace just kind of kind of brings a perfuminess to this. I like that. Then I picked up five flavor pound cake, which is white cake, lemon, French vanilla, coconut, almond, and no, coconut, almond, and sugar cookie. And this is nice. The thing coming through the strongest is the lemon. And it smells almost like a lemon curd because it's really tart. I am getting a little bit of the coconut and the almond. It's a really different kind of bakery blend and I'll be really curious to see how that melts. Then I got PG-13, which is Mac Apple Funnel Cake Sweet and Creamy. This is nice. That Mac Apple is definitely the strongest, but I do get the funnel cake. It's subtle, but I do smell it in there. The next one I got is candied pomegranate. Oh, <laughs> it has a typo. I just noticed that. <laughs> um, I wonder if they put stuff in scratch and dent for a typo. Hmm. Anyway, this is pomegranate noir, um, cashmere plum, and candied apple. I don't usually like candied apple scents. I don't know if it's this is winter candy apple, but I don't really like winter candy apple. Um, but this sounded really good. And it is really good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. This smells like a perfume you'd want to wear in the winter time. Plum is such a pretty like winter fruit to me. It goes so good with the pomegranate noir. You get a little bit of that apple. Mm, that smells really good. And then finally for souffles, I picked up another one of the creamy apple lavender. I figured since um, it was on sale, might as well grab one more since it's available. So this is Lavender Apples Oak Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Yep, just love this to death. This smells so good and pretty, and I'm so excited to have more of it. I haven't even melted any of the others, but I know that's going to be good. Then I did pick up two loaves. The first one is Sea Goddess. This is Saltwater Princess, Blackberry, Blackberry Magnolia, and Sea Salt Blossom. And the loaves almost look like they got misshapen or were over poured. This is really nice. This is a very pretty fresh scent for sure. But like in an aquatic way, not like laundry. I like this because the blackberry isn't too strong either. A lot of times I feel like blackberry can overtake blends. Mm, that smells really good. And then the final loaf I picked up is in Cottontail, which is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Saltwater Princess, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This is very pretty too. This one is a little bit lighter, but I feel like that's to be expected. Vanilla Bean Noel isn't super strong, but I definitely get the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Not too much of that saltwater princess yet, but yeah. Again, these are scratch and dent, so I mean, you don't really know. This could be missing something for all I know, um, but everything smells really good on cold, and I'm excited to try it all. Um, and that is it for my pharmacist daughter haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.